So we're back to a brand new episode of the Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB Show 16. So today we have a big matchup between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Oakland Athletics here in Oakland. But Sonny Gray, it's the Battle Aces today as Sonny Gray takes on Marcus Stroman of our Blue Jays. But Gerard Dyson coming in at leadoff to, for us today. He's a pretty good leadoff hitter, but he's going deep to left field. But that one, obviously not deep enough as that's a fly out to f start off the ball game. But at our starting lineup, we have Gerard at, at leadoff. Then we have Troy, Josh, Edwin at cleanup. Colby, Will, Carlos Rees, and so on. But former athletic Josh Donaldson coming up to the plate. And he's going to swing and miss on that pitch. And that's a strikeout for Sonny Gray. But going into the bottom of the first, we have Marcus Jordan pitching for us this year. And he's 10-1 on the season. 10-1. He's easily the best pitcher in the AL. And debatedly, maybe even the best pitcher in the MLB. But I doubt that. But regardless, he's starting off really well here. As he gets two flyouts to start off this ball game and that one ends the inning right there but going into the top of the second we have Edwin Encarnacion up he's gonna go and hit this one straight up popped up and can that go foul it doesn't it always curls in it always stays in fat fair I don't know why but Will Myers coming up to the plate and he's gonna hit this one straight in the left center field this center fielder bobbles that ball and Will is easily gonna reach second on that error it's a terrible error by the athletics and now we have a man in scoring position here in this inning so maybe he could score here with two outs with Carlos Ruiz coming up to the plate. He's going to hit this one straight at the first baseman. And that one's easily going to be out to end the inning. Sonny, so Sonny Gray escapes that man on second. And there's still no it's a score is 0-0 here in this ball game. But going into the top, being bottom of the second, here's a few uh, outs by Marcus Stroman as he gets the man to pop up, ground out, and pop up again. So Marcus Stroman playing very well to start off this ball game. Maybe, just maybe, he can go and get a shout this game. But our man Draw Dyson coming up. He's getting this one straight at the second baseman. But he takes too long as Draw Dyson easily, easily reaches first on that one. Draw always the speed. You gotta love it. But Tulo is caught looking at strike three, and that one's gonna end the inning. But Draw Dyson was gonna go and steal second though. He was so close. But going in this inning, we're gonna lead up, let up a hit right down center field. So they get on base for the first time today. But then look at this, Josh Johnson coming up. He's gonna go and try and catch this one, and he does. This Josh Johnson makes a spectacular play here and foul territory to end the inning. But still, the score is 0 0, hits 2 1 for us. But Josh Johnson gonna swing and hit this one straight at the shortstop to get that out right there at first. But Josh Johnson, former athletic, this, it was a steal of a trade two years ago, at least according to this game. But Edwin up on this one, he's gonna hit this one straight at the right field line, and that one is a line drive home run. Edwin Encarnacion hits this one straight off the foul pole, and that one is a home run for us as we are leading 1-0 here in this ballgame against Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray, one of the hardest pitchers to get hits off of, he finally got her hit, and that one's a home run for Edwin Encarnacion. We're big home run hitters this season, 21 home runs on the season, a 356 footer straight to right field, and now we finally are leading 1-0 here against the Athletics. But Colby Rasmus up after the Edwin home run. He's hitting this one straight to right field. Can this be another home run? Back to back home runs. And it will as that one clears the wall. And now we're leading 2 to nothing here in this ball game to these back to back home runs by Edwin Encarnacion and Colby Rasmus. So we're leading 2 nothing here early. I don't know how we're doing this, but somehow we're hitting home runs off Sunny Gray, but not just base hits. It's weird. But Colt Rasmus is 12th of the season, a 362 footer right to the right field. And now we're leading 2 nothing. Will Myers here at the 1-0, and he's going to hit this one straight into center field, and Allen's going to reach for a base hit. So now we have a man on first here in this inning, but two outs here with our man Devin Travis up. But Will Myers is going to try and steal second, and he does. So we have a man in scoring position due to that Will Myers steal, and now we have Devin Travis up. He's going to drill this one straight at the shortstop, and that one's going to be ground out to end the inning. So at least we get two home runs in that inning, so that's always good, as we're leading 2 to nothing here in this ballgame due to our five hits, and they're one hit. Marcus Stroman up, still dominating, as this one, a perfect play by Devin Travis, stretches out and makes that catch and right, just to save a hit for Marcus Stroman, but Marcus Stroman is 10 wins in the season, ranked second in the AL, with Masahiro Tanaka with 11 leading it, but right here, Marcus Stroman strikes out another batter, and that one ends the inning, so Marcus Stroman playing very well, but going into the bottom of the fifth, and they're going to get another hit off of Marcus Stroman, so only their second hit of the ball game. But they have a man on your two outs. But Marcus Stroman clutch on that one. Because he strikes another batter to end the inning. So Marcus Stroman, once he gets in danger, 
He strikes out batters like crazy, but Colby Rasmus is up a 2 outs here in the top of the 6th. Colby's going to hit this one straight to left field. Can this be another home run for him? And it is, as that one's another home run for Colby Rasmus in this ball game. So Colby Rasmus, you had no idea that he's a home run hitter like this. Like, sure he was good back in his Blue Jays days, and he's pretty good in his Houston Astros days in real life, but Colby Rasmus, a home run machine. This man can hit home runs like crazy, but Colby Rasmus, a solo shot straight to left field, and that was a 394 footer in order to get a home run, but Bill Myers up, he's going to hit this one straight at the shortstop. And that one's going to end the inning after that one home run that's still a shot from Colby Rasmus. We're leading 3 nothing. Bottom of the 6th, and it is 0 outs in this inning. But Kevin Pillar makes a perfect play in center field to save another hit from Marcus Stroman. But Marcus Stroman leading, it, leading in ERA in the American League only by .02. So it's pretty close there. But on this play, they're going to ground this one straight to Josh Donaldson. Donaldson makes a perfect defensive play in order to get the out at first to end the inning. But Carlos Ruiz up here at zero. It's, he's going to drill this one straight into right field. And now one is going to be a base hit for Carlos Ruiz, the backup catcher we signed in the free agency. He's playing very well for us. The batting average over .3. But immediately after that, Kevin Pilar grounds out into a double play. And now one is going to end that inning right there. So Kevin Pilar blows it with a man on here. But it doesn't matter as we still have a 3-0 edge over the Athletics in this inning. But going into the bottom of the seventh, Marcus Stroman still pitching in this ball game. But he's going to go and influence a fly out right there. And Chris Davis up with the one out. He's going to drill this one straight into left field. And that one's going to be another single. But Gerard Dyson makes a pretty good play there in left if he had noticed that one. Just to save that from being a double. But immediately after he lets up a base hit, he strikes out a batter. This is Marcus Stroman. This is what he does all day long. But 78 pitches in the bottom of the seventh. That's a pretty good amount of pitches. But immediately after that strikeout, he's going to go and drill this one straight to Colby Rasmussen right. And Colby's going to end the inning. So Marcus Stroman's good through seven. But going into the bottom of the eighth, zero outs. They're going to hit this one straight at Josh Donaldson because of the defensive positioning. But Donaldson is going to throw this one right at the ground. And Will Myers obviously can't catch it because it bounced off the ground. So we commit an error in here to get and allow them a man on here in this inning. So one man on here, one out here for the Athletics. They hit this one straight at Devin Travis. But Devin makes a perfect play, fully extends his arm again to get the out at first. But there's a man on second here, two outs here for Billy Burns. And Billy's going to hit this one straight at Tulo, but Tulo makes no mistake as he goes and throws that one at first to end the inning right there. So, as, as see, Mark Stroman proves it again. Man in scoring position, but he's clutch, as always. The three hits only for them on the ball king. We're doing really well. But going in this inning, Sean Doolittle is going to go and pitch for the Athletics. And it's the top of the ninth here with Edwin Encarnacion coming up to the plate. But Edwin's going to hit this one straight at their shortstop. And easily, he's going to be thrown out at first. To get the first out of the ninth inning. But Colby Rasp is up here with one out. But Colby's going to hit it the same man right there at the shortstop. And they're easily going to go throw Colby out at first to get et, to et another out. But Will Myers is up. He's getting this one straight at. Popped it up right at center field. The center fielder is easily going to make the catch. In order to get them into the bottom of the ninth. So now the Athletics. It's do or die right here. They need to get runs. Marcus Stroman is still pitching into the ninth. But Marcus Stroman can influence a, a ground out right to too low. So he's going to throw the man at first get the first out of the ninth inning. So Marcus Stroman doing very well so far. One out here. They get this one straight in the center field, but that one is not deep enough. As Kevin Plotter makes the amazing play at center. I'm just catching that ball. It wasn't amazing, but a good play at center to get the second out of the inning. But Chris Davis, it's all relies on him. He needs to score here, Chris Davis. He's going to win drill this one straight at Tulowitzki, and that one means ball game. So Marcus Stroman goes a complete shutout. What is this? A shutout Full, what is this even called? A complete shutout ball game. I don't know how to even say it, but Marcus Stroman plays very well for us this game. Colby Rasmus, Edwin Encarnacion, all hit home runs in order to win this ball game for us. Sonny Gray, a very hard pitcher to get hits off of, but we somehow did. As Colby Rasmus, two home runs, easily our best offensive player on the day, but gotta give it to Marcus Stroman. Kept this in the ball game with his perfect pitching. Marcus Stroman, nine innings pitch, three hits. Zero earned runs, zero walks too. You gotta appreciate that. And three strikeouts as he is your tops player of the game for this game. Coley Rasmus would have been pop top player of the game any day of the week, but Marcus Stroman plays very well for us. As we get the win here, three to nothing here against the Athletics in Oakland. But I guess on this episode off for you. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Charlotte British Ranches mode and thanks for watching and I will see you later.